Hello, welcome back. So this is what we'll be making today, some light sources, a torch and a brazier. We'll start off with a sphere, I'll get it down to 12 subdivision axis. I'll delete the up upper part. I'm gonna use an extrude to make it double-sided to give it some feeling. I'm gonna smooth the normals just so it looks better. Let's bring this middle part up. Well, not not of soft select. Can just in there. We're gonna do a the burning coal part. So as usual, I'm gonna work with only one side of the mesh, and I'm gonna meet her later. I'm just gonna move around some of these vertices to make things look more uneven. I'm gonna use the multi-cut tool to make those into trees just so it makes more sense there. Again, this part's gonna be some burning coal on the brazier. So I don't want it to be all smooth and even, I want it to be kind of like a rocky kind of thing. I'm actually gonna pull this up a little bit more. I'm gonna use the D and V keys to bring the pivot there and I'm gonna scale it up. And I'm gonna scale this down a little bit to make it more thick. Yeah, that looks better. Let's UV this. I'll use a planar mapping. For this one, let's do a planar mapping on the Y axis. Now let's mirror the geometry. I wanted to get the UVs out of the way first before mirroring, because I'm gonna do some uh, extruding to get some supports for this brazier. And the supports are not gonna be symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna extrude those. I'm gonna scale them down there. I'm gonna delete the bottom because we're not gonna see the brazier from below. I'm gonna select these edges and I'm gonna mesh them to the ground of X. X is a snap to grid. Okay. That looks good. That's the shape I wanted, so let's UV this. Okay, I'll do a cylindrical mapping. You're gonna click on that red line over there. Now you can rotate the mapping until it looks right. And let's do the same for the other ones. Cylindrical mapping, click on the red line and rotate it around until it looks right over there. Now let's align this. If you haven't seen the other tutorials, I teach this more in depth in the previous tutorial, tutorial number three. The one that I do the crate and the barrel, so if you haven't seen it yet, you should check it out. The UV for this part is really similar to the UV of the top of the barrel. 
So if you have any questions about this, you should probably check that video out. I don't want to just be repeating myself on every video, so if I have covered something in a previous video, I'm not going to go back to it. Okay, right now I want all of these to be in the same UV space, so I can paint one leg and all of them will be painted. So I need to cut this up, pull this to the other side, and sew the edges. Now they seem to be the same kind of UV. I'm going to align them all, then I'm going to put them in the same UV space. First let's unfold each one to make it easier. I go into the shell, then unfold, then normal aligning job. Again, if you haven't seen, I teach this more in depth on the crate and barrel tutorial. Right now I'm just trying to get them all aligned. I'm gonna do the snapping with the V key to get them all into the same place. I'm gonna snap vertice by vertice, or UV by UV, I guess. Just checking if they are all in the right place. Nope, this one wasn't. You can just click on the face and check where in the UV the face is to check if it's right. And now I'm using the V key to snap the UVs one into the other, so we're occupying the same UV space. Just have to click on the UV, keep the V key pressed and middle mouse from one UV point to the other. Okay, that seems good. I'm gonna leave a little space empty on this UV map so I can position another top of the brazier there and use it for when the brazier is not lit. So right now you see I left a little space there, I'm gonna use that space later. Over here in Photoshop I'll start with a solid color. I'm gonna copy this over, make it smaller and now I have the same reference UV there to paint there too. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna use it for later. I'm gonna speed this up because it's pretty much the same process I've shown on all my videos on texturing. I'll slow down when there's something different to explain. Okay, let's see how this is looking. I got the base colors there, and that thing's wrong, I, I missed the UV there. As you can see, two of the legs are alright, but this leg got the UVs in the wrong place. Let's fix this. Select this. Now I can see, you see there? Where the line should be and where the line is. Let's pull this over here. Cut this. And suit the other side. So let's click this one and suit. And now let's do the snapping again. Right now the UVs are alright. Yep, seems legit. Now I'm gonna do the burning coal. Just gonna do a lot of little abstract shapes, like some pebbles there. Okay. Let's see how this looks. It looks like nachos 
in tomato sauce that does not look like burning coal. That's how burning coal looks like. Okay. Let's adjust her thing accordingly. That's not shoes, that's not burning coal. Right, so the bright part is underneath the coal, so we should make this darker. What's underneath should be lighter. Let's use inner glow, player style inner glow. Give some glow to the, the darker color. And some outer glow to make it look more like it's burning. It's actually illuminating outside. That's more like it. It's still not what I want though. Let's try some different coloring. That, that looks better. More glow. Okay, that, that looks hot. I, I wouldn't want to touch that. Okay. Let's select everything from this top here and copy over the other one. Let's toggle our V. Okay. So this one, I want it to be the unlit brazier. Over here, let's duplicate this over and let's move these UVs. The shell, move around and scale it down. Okay. So I have a lit brazier and an unlit brazier. Yeah, now let's do some grading there, create some col lighter colors, give some variation to the legs. Let's see where on the UV are these parts. So the inside should be darker. Okay. You can click the faces there to know where the thing is. Okay, so this here I want it to be darker. This here I'm actually gonna make a little gradient to darker. Okay, that's nicer. Now I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna get a brush with low opacity. Get a dark color and paint some shadows there. And a new layer, of course. That's it, I'm just gonna paint some shadow and light. This part here, I want it to be darker on the, when it's touching the brazier because it's receiving shadow from that bowl of the brazier. So it will get lighter down there. Let's paint some color, yellow and red, into the brazier to give it even more of a hot sensation. Give some more variation too. That's nice. Let, let's see how it looks if I use it as an uh, overlay. Oh, that, that's really nice. That, I like that. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let's use it a little bit more dark here on the coal than lit brazier. Yeah, now you can see some glow there in the brazier. That's really nice. This one is not right. It's the darker part is to the bottom, so I'm gonna use flip UVs horizontally. 
and now it's right. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. You see the problem there? I'm gonna select that shell, flip UVs horizontally. And now it's right. I'm gonna just do a little bit more shadow there. That upper part was kind of light. Yeah, that's better. Now we can do some curves, adjustment. Oh yeah, <laughs> maybe it's a little bit too much. Okay, yeah. And some here in saturation maybe. Hmm, red. Not too much, maybe less opacity there. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Let's see the difference. Yes. Yes. Maybe the can change a little bit the glow, give it even more of a warmth to the outside. No, that's too much. A little bit less. Maybe I'll add a little bit of a lighter color over here on the, on the sides. Just so it doesn't abruptly change to black. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Right. So now let's do a torch. Alright. First I'm gonna make the base of the torch. Just gonna be like a tile on the wall. From it we need something to hold the torch. I'm gonna use a torus. It's like a huge donut. Let's turn it down. I'm gonna connect that to the tile. Let's get a cone in here to be our torch. I'm going to change the subdivision so I can get some topology in there. Yeah, I want to have that line in the middle because I'm going to delete half and only work with half of it. Okay, let's delete this. I'm gonna combine those. I'm gonna use the append to polygon tool to connect those. Okay. I'm gonna make a line in the middle so I can delete half of it and only work with half. So me heard the rest. Let's use the multi cuts tool to make that into a triangle so it shapes better. Okay. Now let's shape our torch. We want to extrude that inside. Scale it down. Using the insert edge loop tool, I'm gonna insert an edge loop here so I can pull this out. Okay, that looks like a nail. Okay, now it looks even more like a nail. Maybe if I pick up this part and yep. Yeah, that's that's better. I like this. Okay, no. 
Well, let's select only the face there. Yep. Yeah, that's a better size match. Okay. Then I'm going to front view. I'm going to select the middle vertices. Make sure they're all. Select all of them. With the X snap to grid, I made sure that we're all in the right middle. Right in the middle. Okay, delete the half. Now I'm gonna UV only this half. I'm gonna first do a projection on the X axis. For this one, then the projection on the Z axis. This one will be on the X axis. Okay, just picking those up and taking them out of the way. Lastly, I'm gonna do a fold here just so. We... Oh yeah, I forgot this one. This one's on the Y axis. Okay, let's unfold this. Those ones are actually inside there. I don't think we can even see those. So I'm just going to delete those. These ones as well. Should probably do these ones on the Y axis as well. Yep. Let's unfold this and it's now a mess. No, let's not do that. Let's make a cut here. Separates the head of the torch from the rest. I'll do the unfold on this part. That's a little better. Still not what I want, but better. Uh, this one is actually... You can flip this. Okay. Let's just do a layout, so it will be less messy. Okay, now let's unfold these things. Okay, let's just align this thing. Let's unfold this, that's better, you can see the head of the torch there. Now let's try to position this in the UV space, so it can fit it all in a good position. Let's mirror the geometry. That's not the right way. <laughs> okay, that's better. Got our torch UV'd and ready to paint. Let's just push this in so we can see less of it. Yep. Let's do a UV snapshot. I'm actually Use a smaller size, 256, since the torch is a smaller object. Okay, the painting process is a lot like the other ones. 
So I'll just speed it up. I mean, doing this style just like we'll do a brick in the bricks tutorial. I'm using clipping masks to make sure the grading I'm doing there is only affecting that base shape I created for the torch. If you have this problem, like you're seeing some transparency there, you need to go into material transparency, right click and break connection. So you're not using the transparent part of the PSD. Let's check. This is the part that's beneath the torch, so I want it to be darker, okay. I'm gonna go lighter as I go. This part there, it's the shadow on the sides. Yeah, that's good. Now let's paint some lighter colors in here, follow opacity brush, darker colors more towards the bottom. Let's it's lighter in there in the middle, and darker towards the end. It's not painting there, huh? That's another layer. Uh, this part should be the part where the torch is being hugged by that thing. Let's see. No, I guess it's a little bit higher. Probably there. I want to add some shadow there so it's like the occlusion from the piece that's holding it. Yeah, that's more like it. That's a little bit lighter color there just for some variation. Yep. Which layer is this? Not this one. Oh, okay, so it's these layers over here. Let's paint over it. Yep. Oh yeah, that's better. You can see better occlusion there. Okay. Which is some darker here. Lighter. And I'm gonna do a little thin line of thinner, thin line of lighter color there to make a separation, make it look a little bit more 3D. Yep, that's better. And lastly, the cup of the torch. I'm gonna make them all into a group so it can affect only them. Well, first let me paint some lighter to darker there, gradient. Okay, so this is now a group, I'm using clipping mask. You can put some gradients there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Our torch is now done. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Uh, this weekend, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, I'll be making a game with PXL DJ in the T-Ski. From 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. EST on these three days, we'll be streaming. Uh, this will be for the finishing of a T-Ski Kickstarter. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a Kickstarter where he is going to make a full series of tutorials on game making from start to finish. So I hope to see you guys there. I'm going to leave the links for the streams below. And that's it. I'll see you guys Tuesday.